Hello and welcome to MGP 361. I'm Kevin. With me as ever, the Sheepdog Anna and Pab. Say hello, boys and girls. Hello. 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 And welcome to the first of three year-end MGP specials. Today is the MGP Game of the Year 2019 episode. Next week, we have the Game of the Decade episode. And the week after that, between Christmas and New Year, we have my favourite episode of the entire year. I think, are we up to the ninth annual Google Zeitgeist Review of the Year show? It might even be the tenth. I'll have to look back at my notes from last year. We can't uh, have by done which one I the mean, first year we met, Pab, we'll have a look. I don't know. I don't know. It must be the ninth then. We have known each other like three months and you'd have gone, come round my house and do a zeitgeist. (laughs) It would have been a bit random. (laughs) Yeah, I wouldn't have waited Yeah, but you would have. That's the problem. I would have, exactly. That's exactly the kind of thing I would have asked as well. So there's every possibility it is the tenth. Um, But I think it's probably the ninth annual Google Zeitgeist Review of the Year show, which I am particularly excited about. I don't know that Google that the Google Trends thing that we always use is going to exist this year. I'm just going to assume that it does. And if it doesn't, I'll make it up and no one will be any the wiser. It hasn't been called Google Zeitgeist for five years, so we'll be <laughs> all right. Um, but we are going to get into our review of 2019 in a little while. We've got our game of the year to decide on as well. And of course, as ever, you'll have your opportunity to vote for your game of the year from the shortlist that we whittle it down to over the course of the show. But before we get into any of that, um, people need to give old Kev a pat on the back about what a genius he is, because I think it was on last week's show, I basically called the, na- the name of the new Xbox. Does it really matter? You, I'm a said, genius. you said it would either be called Xbox or Xbox 2, and it's called Xbox Series X. No, I, sa- so. I said it was going to be called Xbox, and I stand by the fact that that's what everyone will be calling it, because no one's going to say Xbox Series X. That's what they call it now. Be- they call it the Xbox yeah. now. They don't ever go People to say the Xbox anything. One. No, they don't. Mm, or Xbox no. 360. No, it's been no. called the Xbox One X for a while. Um, uh, a lot people, of... It's it's the Xbox. The Xbox, the Xbox, the Xbox. Kev wins. All it says on the box is Xbox. I saw a lot of weird people moaning on Twitter that grandmas won't be able to go and buy this. How many people's nans go out and buy them consoles? They might have been grandma? dead for years. But um, Give me the basis of the complaint. Why is, why well, they is were saying, any... what a stupid name. PlayStation, your nan can go out and just say, I want the new one, and they'll know that it was four before and it's well, five then now. Then you could use that exact yeah. sentence <laughs> with this one. Because if they're selling it, they'll know, know. which one the new one it is. Was, it was so weird. But that was what half of Twitter was on yesterday. The other half were like, yeah. Cool. Xbox oh, Series Twitter, X. Twitter is full of buffoons. I know. If that if that's your biggest complaint about Twitter in the last forty eight hours, <laughs> you've had a better time than I have. I have very good mutes on on my Twitter. I know you like to think that I sit there bouncing through all the the, the insanity, but I've got every. I had to unmute a tweet about gaming, and I could, and it said it, it had a word in it that I got rid of and I, I still couldn't read it i thought i thought it might have muted the word woman and i said like, why would i have that muted and i checked my list but it was i think they'd put the word government but it was something to do with a game with a government in it um and yeah it it's on my block list but no uh, i was trying to look for pictures of the xbox series x which i will now call it for the rest of time um the, xbox, the new xbox don't it look boxy looks like a pc yeah it does it looks exactly it's like a pc a compact pc yeah yeah, I don't know where we would put one next at the, the moment. Telly. You stand yeah, it all behind no, the there's, no, there's no space next to the TV. That's what I'm trying to say. So yeah, that's great tweet as well where someone said that the xbox looks like a fridge the new macbook looks like a, a grill and the uh, new iphone looks like a little uh what's it called the bloody stove where you fry stuff on and it's like someone's just been in a kitchen ripping off all the appliances <laughs> and designing machines out of them i just thought it'd be awesome if the ps5 was just a kettle Well, we never know yet. We don't know. It's got that weird light. I, I, part of me suspects that the reason they've made it such an awkward shape that's not going to fit into anyone's living rooms is so that they, um, is so that when six months later they launch the cloud only version of it that plays all the same games and you can just, the, the, the stadia, no, the stadia equivalent where you just have a little dongle in the back of your telly and it all streams off the internet. People are like, oh, okay then. At least I can fit that into my living room. It'll just be Xbox, just like this is just Xbox. <laughs> it's not. Of course it is. It's like, I mean, pe- people call iPhone, iPhone has a little number next to it every year, but you still just call it an iPhone. 
That's what this yeah. is now. It's just going to get a new series name every year or a new... I did feel they've been lazy going for the Xbox One X and now the Xbox Series X. It feels like they they love the something X, don't they? But um, yeah, I wonder if you're right. If they do, Well, the cloud thing is just Xbox. They already have that on PC anyway. Um, I, it's just, I think they're just making this there, right, next time we're just going to tell you to buy a computer. It's going to be... you. Know, tier you know, the next gen of uh, xbox six i was going to say but it would be what the fifth one i've lost track now um what i was going to ask you notice they've got no um what's it called connect or any kind no camera no no i mean of... that that's been yeah that's been well you, there's not even a, there's not wasn't even a slot to plug that into the xbox one s was there let alone the x no you need but to they've been dongle. trying it's to bring that years. yeah they've been yeah, trying no, to yeah but xbox one the, the the latest one that came out like the first one, you could use Connect, but then after that, yeah, you'd have to buy a dongle. Well, they gave you the dongle for free, and now it's like forty quid to buy the dongle because I wanted one because I wanted to pay. So to there. eBay. Yeah, but it's still quite expensive. Is it? I was like, it's yeah. because it's not many around. I bet but no. not the, the, uh, the uh, any made them. Because the Connect is fun for kids' games. Like Andy loves them, yeah, like the bowling and stuff. But trying to find a dongle for it, jeez. Mine just inexplicably died. It stopped working one day, and I just assumed that Microsoft had just killed it. They probably did. They just not told anyone. Oh, sounds sounds like the sort of thing they do. But yeah, I assume we're all uh, we're all excited, and we're going to have this pre-ordered with no. our PS fives. No, and we're going to have unboxing day. Like, remember no. last what was it five years ago where they came out six days apart from each other? Hmm. It does yeah, feel like whoever does it first is week. just going to win again, pretty much. Was it? No, so you... no, no. Not likely. Because Xbox came so out you... first over here. Did? Yeah. Oh, I think I just had you. Them, Pab? I no. can't remember any of that. No. Why are you not getting them? Because there's no point anymore. Because they say, all our games are coming to PC. So we'll just play it on the PC. It'll still look better on my PC, even in a but year's it's time. It's a shiny and... new toy. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, though. Cause if it, this is the thing, you see. You either have to it's go in... Toy, Pab. If I had to make a decision at some point, why do I go all in on console, all in on PC? But when most why? of my friend base are on the PC, I you're going to cave. Off. And no, I won't. No, I'll get a PS5 because PS5 will have exclusives that that the you know what I mean that will not come to PC. But there's no point getting an Xbox because they said all their games are going to come to the Xbox uh, to the PC. So there is no point realistically if you've got a really good PC like I do. There is no point ever ever getting a new console, so that's where I stand. That's Probably your not hot take that they're going to blast yeah, so around all. And game they're not bothered. They're not bothered as long studios. as you're, you're in the ecosystem. They're not bothered where you play the games. So, and I am. I rejoined Game Pass this week. Um, and you can guarantee that that's how they'll be referring to their install base as well. It won't be how many actual physical units have they sold. It'll be how many active Xbox yeah, Live subscribers. Yeah, I got yeah. Game Pass this week as well. Funnily enough. Well done. I've had it since Good the stuff. day it came out. And now you have. That's but, um, something Kev does. I got a message just saying that I still had one mm-hmm. month left in my pound a month offer, and uh, I took it. And then I asked my sister to get me some more for Christmas, so I should have it for the next like eight months or something. Um, which is why so, uh, we're not getting into it, but that's why I spent all week on Zoo Simulator, uh, Zoo Tycoon, and Goat Simulator. Sorry, because uh, rather than me getting games on it, where I just wanted to play the Outer Worlds, I ended up. With children stealing all my games and time, and by the time I get a look in, it's time for my wife to watch telly. So <laughs> I'm just like, Wah. really want to use it. It's an it's, it's an awesome little service. Um, I'd love it if they did their Stadia thing, like you were saying, and I didn't have to have a console in the house. And they I could will just... next next year, aren't they? The X Cloud yeah. stuff is coming in next year. It'll all be part of the same launch. Yeah, you'll have because they they. This is just the first one of the consoles they've announced as well. There's still rumours they're going to have the tiered consoles. Well, also... So you'll have the little streamy box one, you'll have the mid-level one, this will be the big fancy top-level one, probably. The X-Cloud stuff will work on all Xbox Ones anyway. Yeah. So it doesn't really... You don't You don't even need to buy anything new. Hmm. It'll just work for Okay, where was, when was that announced? Cause I... E3. Oh, I didn't watch any of their stuff at E3. Yeah, there you go, then. E3 usually is underwhelmingly pointless and annoying so I'm a bit frustrated that uh, it's been around for ages and I just missed it we did talk about it at length on the podcast yeah. as well I, I, don't, I have a very good memory <laughs> I probably engaged in the conversation and said it sounded great but 
I'll be honest, I don't. When you said to me we we're talking about games we'd played this year, I was sat there thinking, have I even touched a game in the past twelve months? And I have plenty, but it, yeah, I, my memory's so bad. I've actually just sleep. I know the feeling. <laughs> this week has just disgraces. been. How is it, Kevin? I've had exams this week, presentations, early mornings, work. Love all that. I just want to have a sleep. <laughs> I just, just want to rest for a, just a weekend, just just a couple of days. <laughs> just a... You've got the weekend now. Yeah, but I've got to revise. I've got a massive exam on Monday. Nah. I need to know 12 weeks of revision by Monday. Nah. <laughs> What's your exam about? Pathology. See, that doesn't sound real. What's pathology? Well, th- this bit of pathology we're doing is forensic, so death and how death happens, what happens and why it happens. Is it true that the body loses eight grams when it dies? That's something <laughs> I saw it in an advert wow. to a film, and I never fact-checked it. You... Which I don't know. I've... I feel dubious of because I announced in the office today that when babies are in the womb and they are fetuses, they all grow moustaches and then eat them. And everybody looked at me like I was mad. And when I Googled it to fact check it, it's kind of true, but not in the way I described it. (laughs) What made you think that did happen? I read it somewhere a long time ago. Um, On a toilet wall. (laughs) No, what actually happens is like baby's skin has these little hairs on them. And they shed those hairs and then they get absorbed back into their body through the thing they live in. They like, their body absorbs the nutrients from the water that they're in. But I'd read it as though the moustache grew on their lip and then it went into their mouth and then they swallowed it. Um, (laughs) And everyone's looking at me like, no, that's not what happens. Very, very weird imagination. Well, that's how it was described to me. When I Googled it, I put fetus moustache. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of pictures that came up. It was hilarious. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I saw an advert for a film that said the body lost eight grams or something like that when it when it died. And it was some sort of horror film. And I never bothered Googling it. I just assumed they wouldn't lie in their advert. Um, but advert. I thought you'd know as a pathologist. Oh, well, I'm not a pathologist. I'm just learning about it no yeah I, I don't know maybe but your your body when you die everything starts breaking down and blowing yeah but i'm up. talking about the instant like if That's i just what, stop that now i'd be eight grams soul, lighter that were the claiming that the soul weighs eight pounds and that you instant, <laughs> as soon as you die you you lose eight pounds instantly it was grams i thought but still grams it, whatever it is yeah it sounds about right yes yeah that sounds about right yeah i think that's what they were getting at I don't really know yeah, why I don't they think were. that's real. I think that's a Will Smith film. <laughs> if it is, that's even worse. I'm going to Google it while you uh, talk amongst yourselves. Just concludes our thoughts on the <laughs> Xbox Series X. Yeah, it's going to weigh eight um, pounds. Of course, the other big news this week is it's been the uh, the the second most important awards in gaming after the MGP Game of the Year, which we'll get into in a little bit. Um, but we had the the Game Awards last night as well, what didn't was that? we? Yeah, I still don't know all the results yet. Yeah. I saw Indies moaning about Google it earlier. Google them now. I tried to, and I was like, I don't, I don't know. I tried to follow it, looking on the on their Twitter timeline. It's just full of nonsense. I was like, just, just give me a, a list of the results. That's all I need. You're gonna make me Google it now, aren't you? Or um, well, Sekiro basically won lots of things. I did see it? that. Death Stranding. Death Stranding uh, won. What yeah, won three awards. Best, best direct. Di- Why? Art, art direction or something like that. Or something um, like I'm direction. trying to get the full list now. Um, yeah, got best direction and two others, and it doesn't specify in this t- in this article titled "The Game Awards 2019 Winners." It just summarises that those two games won some things, but doesn't mm. actually say what all the other winners were, which is super helpful. Um, but yeah, two games that I didn't play. What was the other one? Sekiro got game of the year. Oh, Sekiro, Sekiro Shadows. that's alright. Yeah. It's really rock hard. You played that, have you? No, I watched someone play it. Yeah, it's, it's like the kind of game I wouldn't want to play. Yeah. Uh, multiplayer me. game of the year was Apex Legends. Yay. Um, what else have we got? Ongoing game was Final Fortnite. Alright, I saw them tweet about it earlier. Final um, Fantasy XIV said they won something to do with ongoing game. 
they were, they were nominated, nominated for it, but they didn't win it. Oh, the cheeky um, swines. They made, I read earlier, I was like, oh, they won that, because I've never played it. So I was just like, that makes me want to, but now I know it's only a nomination. Anyone can be nominated. Exactly. We were nominated for three of these awards. Um, Disco Elysium got Best Narrative. I want to play that. I look scared. Um, best Performance went to Mads Mikkelsen in Death Stranding, not yeah. Norman Reedus. Goes without saying, he can't act. And well, he was nominated, which there you does go. Look at this one. prove my point. Yeah. Sports, sports slash racing game. Crash Team Racing. My word. Field. My word. What have Beating we come FIFA to? Yeah. And Pro Evo. It's still my word. Um, and then best soundtrack was Death Stranding. Best fighting game was Smash Brothers. Um, games for Impact was Gris. How can Smash Bros get a game for this year? Fighting game. Out it, because the, it because it's, it period, cut off it's point, like yeah. from November to November. It's not came quite. out in December. Yeah, is ours November to November? No, then? no. Because I not. because do you know what I the only reason I know that Smash was definitely not this year is because I was looking through our uh, our old podcast titles from January trying to make sure I had an idea of what I'd played, and we talk about Smash after we reviewed the year, and I I remember uh, the, earlier today thinking I wonder whether that should count because we couldn't have counted it in last year's. We must have done. We can't have done. Why? But we'll we'll have recorded after. After Smash came out, but I think we discounted. Why? It. What date did it come out? Mm-hmm. We but must. We, have, it must have yeah, been we'll have perhaps after. last year. We'll have to get the historians to look into it. But I would suggest it was considered. You mm. just hadn't played it yet, I imagine. And I knew you got it for Christmas, but me and Pab had probably came out seventh of December. I yeah, remember we, 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 we one recorded of it on the twenty first of December. Out of Smash. Yeah. Yeah, we maybe recorded twenty. It. We recorded twenty seventh of December. So, damn it! No, twenty first. Twenty first of December was game of the year. Sorry, there you go. So we, we would have, that you would have brought that up, sheepdog. I imagine. <laughs> we won't check. No, I can look at that. I've got the notes, so it's it's not in the list at all. So. So yeah, that was uh, that was the inferior game awards. And now we need to uh, now we need to sort out the real game awards. Oh, game award! I mean, if you if you're going to take these sort of things seriously, you don't mess around with categories. All you care about is game of the year. It's not because we haven't played enough games between us to do categories. <laughs> it's because it's because we believe in not faffing about and just doing one trophy each year, don't we? That's that's always been our policy. No faff. It's the MGP motto. So if you haven't been around for one of our game of the year episodes before. Um, Certainly in recent years, we've followed a, a, a usual format for these kind of episodes, whereby each of us comes up with a short list of our five best games of the year, um, and uh, we try and narrow that down to a, a final short list of five between us, which we then vote on to establish our game of the year. Um, in fact, no, we should get it down to a short list of four, because then we can make it a Twitter vote as well, and then people can vote on our final four. So we're gonna take So we're going to take our 20... And we, we've got the opportunity to state our case for our game and why they should make it through. But ultimately, we'll whittle it down to a top four. We'll then decide on our winner from that top four and you'll get the opportunity to vote for your winner as well. And we'll announce your version next week and see if you were right or wrong. Because obviously our version is correct. We've done this, like you said, what, six, seven times now? This will be the seventh yeah. time we've done it. And... I swear, like I don't remember saying this before, but I probably say it every year now. Me, um, this has been the hardest year to try and come up with. <laughs> well, it's definitely been the first time I've struggled to come up with five, um, and that's not me being particularly critical of the ones I've played. I'm looking through the list of all the games that came out this year, and I think I just know what I like now. And most of the stuff that came out ain't it. It's uh, it's a little bit mm-hmm. shocking. Um, there's so many run around shooting games that I just won't have touched at all. Um, I'm a li- I'm I'm honestly worrying that we won't have twenty between us. That's my bet for. Well, right we now. probably won't have twenty because we'll have overlapping games. Yes, I imagine exactly. we're not going to do. But that would always be the case because there's always going to be standout games. All right, I don't I think, don't think we'll breach fifteen. Well, I doubt we will. I doubt we ever have. <laughs> all right. Just saying, this year 
Um, I don't know. I just think this is probably one of the worst years we've had in terms of. Well, it's a typical late on in the in the life cycle of the systems. I, I don't guess. know. Like last gen's end of end of cycle had some stonking games. Last gen's was weird. It was. I think that was different to the end of any console cycle. It's probably before, been my because... favourite period in the whole of us. Like last yeah, of us, but, Grand Theft Auto. But normally for the last year of a console, everything kind of just peters out, doesn't it? But this time around or last time around for whatever reason they decided we can make double the money here if we release all these games twice let's not save them for the new one let's release them now and then release them again <laughs> and it was all really it was really a cynic it was a cynical cash grab but it did mean we got some good games at the end of the console cycle That's but then people had to buy them all again oh i agree mm-hmm. i agree yeah. we've had some good games some of my uh, arguably two of my best games of the generation have come out this year. So of the generation? I think been, yeah. Jeez. Oh. Mm, yeah, but well, I think one of them, I I know what it'll be because it's a callback to MGPX. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, mm-hmm. I didn't Mario, think Ma- about Mario that. Maker 2. Yeah, we can kick that off. One of, it's one of the games of the generation, without any doubt. It, it was an absolute game changer for me because I I missed out on the first Mario Maker as most people did because it was on the Wii U and nobody had one. So for me and for a lot of people, this was a completely new thing. And to live in a world where there was endless Mario content, it was it was an absolute sensation. It was a wonderful thing. It's it is one of. It's one of the best games ever. Never mind one of the best games of the generation. Hundred percent. Top. That was top of my list. First one written down. I wouldn't be surprised if we could, in theory, stop there and let everyone else feel the other nineteen, and still yeah. that would win. I would be shocked if that doesn't. And I worry that some ugh, game like Death Stranding will, will get anywhere near it because it's hype. But no, Mario Maker Two deserves not, not round these parts. Death Stranding no, won't get anywhere exactly. near it. <laughs> um, I don't think it fits any of our tastes, but if the listener were pitching them in, I know that stuff like that would pop there. Um, th- there's not a single inch of that game that looks good to me, whereas Mario Maker 2, perfect game. Yeah, it is perfect. It is absolutely perfect because the stuff Nintendo made is as good as any Mario content they've ever made, and that would have been fine as a game in itself. Maybe a little short, but it would have been fine as a game in and of itself. But the fact that they then put the creation stuff in there and have it it's not just the fact it's got the creation stuff because having a creation thing by itself doesn't make a great game little big planet a lot of the stuff that was created it was a bit hit and miss you could find some really great stuff if you were told where to look but you couldn't just go on to little big planets um level i don't remember what it was called you couldn't just play five random little big planet levels and be satisfied with that as an experience you had to know what to go and look for but the real brilliance of super mario maker 2 is that somehow nintendo have it curated through some kind of fancy snazzy algorithm presumably so that you only get the the really good stuff you go on there and you play an endless what's it on it and it's just fun you just get good levels we've all got decades of experience on it as well don't we so it's like there's no barrier. You don't have to go. Well, how's this going to work? What's this going to do? How's you? Know, you just instantly know what you're going to get. It's more challenging. You know, it's, it's it's hard to surprise someone with a a new twist on something. And whenever they do, you're like you're just blown away because that's how it is. I suppose Little Big Planet. You can't really be blown away by something doing something you weren't expecting because everything there is basically new and neutral. And you know, you just go, "What does this do?" Oh, right, cool, okay. And then the next time you see it, it doesn't do that. Like, All right, fair enough. Um, but yeah. I just love being surprised on Mario Maker. I think that was just... I haven't played it in a couple, probably a couple of months now, but there was a, until very recently, after summer, going into the winter, um, it was in our house constantly. Um, you know, I'd come home and the kids would have done something in it or I'd just have a go on it myself when I was a bit, you know, wanted to just sit there and have a, have a faff with something. I don't think I've built as many levels as I wanted to, but I think that's because my imagination's poor enough mm-hmm. that I always end up with the same things, like the thwomp at the start and that kind of thing. I couldn't grow into sort of better levels but i think i just enjoyed seeing how creative other people could be 
Right. And that's it. The other, the other thing that you can't forget about Mario Maker as well is how it did capture the imagination of us as a podcast uh, to the point where it was the big thing that we featured at MGPX. We had our level design competition between the three of us. Mm-hmm. Um, it encouraged me to restart my second YouTube channel that I hadn't touched for a year, but I was loving it so much. I, st- I did daily content on that for like three weeks over the summer because I was just, I had to, I had to get it out there somehow. Anna, who played it and didn't really enjoy it, still spent months watching other people play it on YouTube because even if you don't enjoy playing it, it's fun to watch. So it's, um, it was just, it's the game that defined the year for me. It was, it was awesome. I still never beat not, Pab's level. I did. <laughs> Pab might have to withdraw his level if he's not got that on his list of five because obviously he's wrong if he doesn't. It's not on my five. list of five. And the, you know, the first time you, when you mentioned it, I, I went, oh yeah, I didn't even re- forgot that even existed. Well, Cross one of them out and replace it with no, this because I don't think it is. Well, no, one don't one encourage either. that, Kev, because I imagine that you and I are going to double up at least one more time, and uh, we need this list to be long. <laughs> right? Shall we? Um, has anyone got anyone else got a real outstanding game they want to make a case for before we do our lists and maybe go in? To a bit more depth from there. That one kind of slipped out. We weren't supposed to do it that way. <laughs> but if anyone else has got something they're super passionate about, we can. You can have a speech before lists because me and Sheepdog cheated. No, no, we don't. I mean, I don't know. I can just get rattle mine off when, as and when. It's not really. I'm not going to. Well, Pab, rattle get, it off now. No, what the entire list? I want your list of five. Yeah. Okay, so um, are we doing? Are these ranked in order? Um, no. No, they don't necessarily need to be at the moment. Just no, okay, it's good because I haven't got a particular order right now. Um, my first one would be Tetris ninety nine. Okay, okay. Um, do you want an explanation, or do you need anything to go with um, it? Do you want me to just keep I'm going through? Just let's just get the lists out there first, okay. then we'll do explanations. And stuff. Tetris ninety nine. Uh, oh, again, so no, two nominations. Yeah, two nominations. Yeah, double it down. Uh, the next one is Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Uh, next one after that is the Outer Worlds. Mm-hmm. Uh, the next one would be Apex Legends, and my final one would be Control. You're such a teenage boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was going to say, like, other than Control, which I feel like is the sort of game I would have loved when I was younger, and I'm waiting for that. Apparently, this could be an Xbox Game Pass at some point. What is that? Someone, well, someone said it was going to be, and then I, the the developers uh, denied it. Yeah, but apparently yeah. they think it will be. Um, so I'll I'll have a crack at that on there. But the rest, I'm just like, no, nah, shooty. I can't believe I cannot believe you have put Tetris 99 on there ahead of Mario Maker 2 or Call of Duty. Surely I know it's been a good one, but. I I put it on there because I don't know. There's something like I say. I'd, I'd, like I say, Mario Maker for me was just a, a more convenient way to play Mario Maker again, and that's about it. It was fun, but it was fun on the Wii U when I had about three weeks on it on the Wii U, and it, it feel like it's all it, that's the same thing that happened again with this one. It kind of petered off and then completely fell off into the ether and. That's it. What, and you're still playing Tetris 99 consistently? Yeah, well, they, they are regularly putting like competition things up where you have to you have to get you get unlocked skins for getting a hundred points, whatever it is. I played this game once and thought, yeah, this is like yeah, Tetris, but it's just, but not as good. It's fun. It's people, just a fun game. Other people ruining my game of Tetris. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> but it, it's, it's, it, the, 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 the like adrenaline rush you get to. I mean, I'm not. I've not even won. I've never won, and I have. Closest I got, I think, is about twelve. But the adrenaline rush when you when it's going that fast and you've got people throwing all sorts of garbage at you and you're trying to battle them away and trying to beat people at the same time, it is it, it is this last couple of years has been the battle royale like years for me, and I feel like it is it is another battle royale but with a difference. Um. And, yeah, like, being, it would be more fun to play it without the other people there. You can do that as well. There is an offline mode now for it, uh, so you oh, can play. It? So it's what, just proper Tetris? 
No, you you play against ninety nine other AI, oh, see, no, and they are cons- they are considerable. Nintendo, give me Tetris. They're, 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 like I say, you can just you play can Tetris buy the online. Old ones. But I want this one that's free. Yeah, I think Tetris is Tetris not. But on it's the not free. You yeah, you, know, you have to have the the uh, membership to play but it. Everyone does have that, don't they? Yeah, I think so. I don't know that anyone's bought the online pass just to play Tetris. Surely. But people people, did. Have, people, people did, buy online did. and then they get to play Tetris while they're doing it, surely. Surely. Have you ever played online? Why have you got live? Yeah, Minecraft. Mario I thought Maker. that was just Yeah, Mario base. Maker, Minecraft. <clears throat> Fortnite. Uh, Fortnite I think you can do for free, can't you? I don't yes. think you have to have the online thing for Fortnite. But yeah, I've done lots of online gaming on my Switch. You need it for the uh, SNES and NES yeah, you do. Well. You get all the classic stuff and the cloud save See, stuff. I've never really touched well. any of that, but I probably should at some point. Yeah, they're, they're regularly See, updating it. So stuff like that has is part of the reason why I'm, I've struggled. I think this year because I spend a lot of time messing around on that and a lot of time just <laughs> playing old stuff. And I'm not not to like Dean levels where I've got a uh, you know 1980s virtual reality machine in my garage or something, but I've just been I don't know. It just seems to it's appealed to me quite a bit. I mean, the NES one mainly because I didn't know the SNES one existed till a week ago. But um, mm. yeah, it's it's good. You should, you, I think that you'd probably prefer the SNES one over the NES one. I don't. I don't imagine you'd want to play the really old board realistically. Yeah, but see, sure. I, I I don't know. I I never had a SNES, so the NES one would be nostalgia for me because I had one of them. But oh right, okay. SNES. And Kev Kev likes his nostalgia. Can I play Duck Hunt on it? Um, I don't think no. it's on there. Because there's no, there's no light gun. I'll just do it with my finger. It's a touchscreen <laughs> controller. It'd be exactly the same as just running a gun across the TV. Yeah, just with, that, just with less up. scratches. <laughs> See, it seems weird to me, actually. You had Duck Hunt as a kid. I had Rambo 3, um, <laughs> which is not appropriate for a seven-year-old, but I scratched up our telly with my light gun on the Master System. I think any TV in the late 80s, early 90s that didn't have scratches on, that was a way of telling if there were kids in the house or not. There's kids in the house. The TV's got scratches from light gun games. Mate, that's still true now. My massive telly has got dead pixels where my kid went up and just stabbed it with a pencil. My two-year-old. No! Oh, man. It's got one dead oh pixel God, right in the I middle. Wow. Um, and did they did they have a reason for doing it, or did they just feel like stabbing it? He the didn't just he didn't stab it in a stabby motion. He had the pencil in his hand and was just poking the telly with it. Like he just do? I don't know. He's like pointing at something. I don't know. Dougie was on. But I've got like one little dead pixel in the middle of the telly that eats me alive. When the screen's all one colour, then I'm just like, oh. Yeah, you yeah. see it every single time you turn it on. Most of the time it's fine, but it's just like in something like Dougie, when his whole face is on the screen and it's just brown, it's a black dot, or it's the sky and it's a black dot. Um, but when it's like yeah. the news or some sort of active real-world TV yeah. show, it's not really a problem because it is just one dot. Um, I've tried poking it and seeing if I can get it to come alive at all, but no. Nah. Shake Dog, give us your list of five. <sighs> so, you've already covered Mario Maker 2. Um, the easy ones for me to say was Mario Maker 2, Untitled Goose Game. That took everyone by storm for a little period. And it's something that when I got it, I, I knew what it was going to create in my house. And my family absolutely fell in love with it. Um, my brother-in-law messaged me to ask me if I'd heard of it and if I had it, because he had it, you lot played it. Um, the only downside for this for me is somebody spoiled the end of the, the, the end of the game for me and I hadn't got to it yet and it kind of meant I ran out of steam a little bit because I just thought, I don't think I can actually do that. So then I didn't really try. Um, whereas Ollie got to it on his own. I, he asked me to help him run away with this bit. And I was just like, oh, this is too hard. And bless him, he couldn't do it. But it's definitely a cracking game. It's created, it created a lot of hilarious memes. Um, I think that... I'm sure that's referenced in the new Rick and Morty uh, opening sequence, that game. That's how popular it is. They've got a goose in that that they're attacking because it's, it's, it's savaging people. Um, that game was just very, very popular this year. And I think it appealed to a lot of people who aren't particularly... I don't know, it wouldn't normally just have picked up on a, on a little random game popping up from nowhere. Um, you know, it's it's they've had a very successful marketing campaign, haven't they, really? Yeah. Um, number three, 
I think this is going to make you go, well, you can't really vote for that, but I'm going to. Um, I want to vote for the new Pokemon games. Um, I have played. I have played them and I own them. I just haven't played the ones I own. <laughs> um, I'm getting them next week, but I know I've played them. Um, Why next week? Christmas. Christmas is in two. Well, all right, the week after. But um, I've played them and I have spent a lot of time watching it and reading it and learning about it and all the. Even though I was frustrated with the national Pokedex stuff which I do feel better about now it's out and it seems really good. I just, if it took a lot of time off of me, I spent a whole tw- 24 hours just following a bloody picture of a forest, following the marketing for that. It's been a massive game for me um, this year. And I'm, I can't, I mean, this is part of my argument about smash earlier is we couldn't, I, I couldn't particularly cover that in the last one because it was something I got for Christmas. I hadn't played that one. So I couldn't, I, mean, I have played this one. And I've watched a lot of it, and I know all about it. And I mean, getting the game itself, I don't even think I need to particularly play the story on it because I've already seen most of the story, which is foolish. I'm just looking forward to playing it with, with Ollie. If we'd have done this between the gap of Christmas and New Year, I'd have been able to 100% without any doubt vote for it. So I'm voting for it because it it's definitely worth it. It's you said yourself, it's one of the best games they've done. It's their big jump to console. It's a massive upgrade. It's not the full upgrade we were dreaming of, but they're not a big enough dev for the full upgrade we were all dreaming of. So yeah. But I would be surprised if none of you had it on your list because it's it's definitely awesome. Okay. Um then my list falls apart because I basically looked at what I spent the most time this year playing and you won't let me have Final Fantasy VIII Remaster because it's a remaster, which is fair. But, it you know... Fair. It's very fair. Yeah, it, I know the rules, but I spent so much time playing that. Um, Nino Kuni, I've spent most of the past two months playing on and off. I'm still not very far through it because I spent a lot of time grinding and running around and dying and having a fa- uh, faff around. And he swore then by mistake, faff around. <laughs> I'm doing, doing more of the same things over again. But um, I would have wanted to nominate that. Um, I tried considering nominating playing some of the SNES stuff and thought you're not going to allow me on that. So I'm absolutely copping out with two apps that I don't like, which you told me <laughs> <laughs> number one on that because I was well excited about it coming out and then it turned out to be a massive flop was Mario Kart Tour which I don't like at all and the other one was uh, Pokemon Masters which is too grindy and boring for what it should be it was supposed to be just awesome little battles with um, all the different trainers throughout the series but it's like you do a battle and then it says alright you need to buy some gems now and they're like a fiver and then it's like I'm not, I'm not just going to keep throwing money at you to continue playing so yeah I feel like a bit of a fraud but as I said to you looking through like all the new all the things I brought this year were like Wonder Boy on the Switch which is a remake um, it didn't come out this year I, t- it turned out, I, f- I thought I had one with that um, Captain Toad which came out on a bloody Wii U uh, what else did I get? I'm just trying to think now. Um, I put it in my head a second ago and I've forgotten. Damn it. Long story short, most of the stuff I've got this year has been out before or was... Oh, Shenmue 1 and 2, that's what I was thinking of. I'd got that and I played a bit of that. It makes me feel ill, but I played a lot of that. Um, and then I've just been playing stuff on Game Pass like Goat Simulator and uh, Zoo Token and stuff like that. So it's like, I'm just... I'm a bit miffed that... There isn't much that I particularly... I, I, the out, I made a short list of ones that I wish I'd played and never had the time or money to get. Kingdom Hearts 3, Mortal Kombat 11, and The Outer Worlds. Um, I'm hoping... Uh, I've got The Outer Worlds. I'll play that probably in the next week or so. You can borrow my um, Kingdom Hearts if you want. It's around. I don't like borrowing games of you because if I forget to <laughs> give them back, I'll never hear the end of it. And... Um, I'm wary because I'm not 100% certain that I didn't lose your copy of... Uh, what do you call it? The one I can't say the name of very well. Uncharted. Uncharted, yeah, because you're convinced I lost it and I don't remember ever having it. So I'm kind of like, I don't ever want to borrow games with you again in case it was true. (laughs) Um, (laughs) But yeah, basically, I went through every game that's ever come out this year across Wikipedia and several other sites, managed three games I liked that I'd played, 
two apps that I didn't like, the three games I wished I'd played. So you can make a list of five out of that if you like, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> you can either you can either take it's the written ter- down as five. Well, so you're taking Mario Kart Tour and Pokemon Masters. Yeah, they're on the list. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, listeners. Some of you have probably sat there wishing I was dead. Um, I'm sorry, but I just I haven't got as much money as uh, money bags here. Who? He knows who I mean. <laughs> Presumably Pab. <laughs> no. Interesting. Um, Anna, would you like to give us your list of five? Um, Do you feel better about your list now you've heard Sheepdogs? Because it was quite the effort to get a list of five out of Anna. Because I we went through a process of me reading out every game that came out this year. And her going, no, no, didn't like it, didn't like it. I but we did like get games. we did get you to a five in the end, didn't we? Yeah, but I haven't got any really anything to say because I haven't had time to play. That's fine. Any, just give us your list. The ones that I don't even know where my list sheepdog is. sheepdog broke the rules by describing them anyway. He was just supposed to give us the list. At the oh, point. Outer Worlds, Borderlands Three, Luigi. Whoa, 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 whoa! I've got to write it down. Hold on, right, 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 right. Outer Worlds. Next one. Borderlands Three. Borderlands. When I suggested that, you went meh. Yeah, what, because I was just oh, like, I, Ugh. I, I just <laughs> Kevin springs these things on to me. I don't listen to them most a week of ago. the time. <laughs> yeah, but Kevin and I have had a presentation at the time and exam in that time. Work. I then reminded you this afternoon. I was, yeah, I, but again, I was in the you again lesson. this evening. <laughs> uh, Luigi's Mansion Three. Mm, there you go, Sheepdog. I haven't played that. She's crafted World well, and Rage Two. What was the fourth one? Uh, Yoshi's Crafted World. Yoshi's Crafted World. Mm-hmm. And the last one? Rage 2. Rage 2. Oh, yeah. Interesting. See, we've got... Have we got 15 unique games there so far? After Sheepdog saying we wouldn't. I'm going to change my list. I only need two apps. Sure we get 20 unique games. You go through the app store quickly and pick one. Yeah, I might have to. If oh, I, I say Pokemon Harry Sword, you could say Pokemon item. Shield. Oh, I like it. But then we split the vote and it might not make it through. <laughs> they might both make um, it through. So my list of five, um, obviously I've already said Super Mario Maker 2, um, which I think qualifies it for the final. We'll have that argument in a minute. Um, Mario Maker 2, um, Pokemon Sword, because it's awesome. I've I've not actually made it no, to the end of the game yet. It. No, I've finished all the, gi- the, all the games, but um, haven't gone any further than that. Um, I will go and finish it at some point, but I think yeah, I got to... Yeah. No, I think this came out the week before Football Manager did, so I played it every night and was really enjoying it, and then Football Manager came out, and just like with any other game in the world, I've not touched a game other than Football Manager since Football Manager came out, because kind of have to play Football Manager. Plus, it's been awesome this year, so Football Manager 20 is obviously on the list. He said he's um, got uh, no time, but last night he was filling in the sticker book. Kevin. Yes, I was. <laughs> I like stickers. What of it? Um, and FIFA 20, which I can't believe I'm putting a FIFA game on the list, but the amount of time I've spent playing FIFA this year, it got its claws into me this year for the first time ever, really. Certainly since I was a kid. Um, and Trials Rising is my fifth one. You are such a filthy toe rag. Right. Not because of Trials, because in the Twitter conversation before the podcast... Kevin called me a buffoon and all sorts of vicious names and said I was the worst oh, podcasting okay. host in history. Wow. And then I said to him, your list will just be FIFA, Football Manager, Pokemon, Mario Maker and some random game. And he's just listed exactly what I said what he would. You, that, that just shows you've paid attention this year to what I've been playing. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a swine. <laughs> that doesn't make the points I was making about you untrue. Uh, I feel very frustrated. <laughs> Um, but no, I, I like that you're true to form every year. I've never had FIFA on the list before, or Pokemon, or a Mario game. So, mm. in your face, you've yeah. just... You, oh, you what? didn't like Trials, Kevin. I did, I loved... No, I loved Trials until I hit that brick wall where I couldn't get past that one level. Up until then, I was having the time of my life. And, and I feel uh, like that's every trials, isn't it? Realistically, yeah. you hit a brick wall, and it's like that's it. I'm done with this game now. Yeah, I enjoyed exactly. what I played, <laughs> but I really enjoyed it before I got to that point. Just like I have with all the other ones. 
Um, so, yeah, Trials is always awesome. Um, FIFA, I don't know what it was about FIFA this year. It, um, because if you read on the internet, it's a fairly... Fair, they've reached a, pretty much reached the consensus that this isn't a very good FIFA game. But They had a I problem early on, didn't they, though? Yeah, career mode was utterly broken early on, but I've never really bothered with career mode, so that didn't bother me at all. Um, but I think a lot of people have been complaining about the defending not really working properly and just generally feeling a little bit clunky. And I think that's why I've enjoyed it, because the thing with playing Ultimate Team, which is what I've been doing, obviously you have the collecting part of it, which really ticks Kev's boxes. As Anna said, I sat there with the new Panini Premier League sticker album last night because I love to open packs. Um, so I made Ultimate sure I team, was asleep first. Though, Ultimate team me. right up my street. But the, re- the, way, the place it always fell down in the past is as soon as I went online, I would have my buttocks handed to me. Whereas this year, I go online and nobody can defend. And everybody's a little bit clunky. Mm. And by making the game not as good as it's been previously, they've levelled the playing field. So all of a sudden, Kev can enjoy himself. Kev can win a few games. And uh, yeah, I think that's... I think the fact that it's a little bit broken is why I've enjoyed it so much. Because I can go online and I can beat anyone on my day because they might have a glitch that breaks them. And I find that lovely. They've removed the skill from it and turned it into a lottery. (laughs) And that's what I I enjoy. Um, What else did I have? Trials, we've talked about. FIFA, we've talked about. Mario Maker. Yeah, I mean, Pokemon was great. And Football Manager, obviously, is Football Manager. I'm playing it right now because it's brilliant. Um, does anyone want to make the case for any of their games before we start to narrow this down to our final four as a group? So, I mean, there are two games we've got nominated there that have been nominated by both me and Sheepdog. So I believe me and him could make a strong argument for both of them being in the final four. But I'm sure you other two might have something to say about that. Mm. Sounds like know. they're I in mean, the final I four. Mean, I mean, I, 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 I can tell you my favourite game of the year. I wish right you would, now, Pab. that's the basis of the episode. No. Okay, well, I can say my favourite game of the year is Control by a long shot, and so I the, ask you why I haven't played it if it's that good. Um, why don't I even know what it you. is? Why can't you have I it? it? It's in your house. That doesn't mean I, there's every game that's been released this year is in my house, probably. Yeah, house. this it's it's a game from Remedy who made Alan Wake and what have you, and you've you've heard of them, haven't you? Yeah, that's probably why I didn't play it. You probably described it like that last time. But it time doesn't... Well. I've, I've never played Alan Wake, but I know about yeah, Alan Wake. Yeah, I have. That's why I and haven't I, played this, I imagine. Yeah. Well, it's, I, I'm, I don't think it plays like Alan Wake. It plays nothing like... It plays... Like... Someone said this the other day. They wanted Star Wars... This is what a Star Wars game should feel like, because you have, like, abilities like like the Force, effectively. And they're right. It is a great game. It makes you feel powerful. And... The story, everything about it is just the story is is fascinating. It's got a really fascinating story, a creepy vibe, like a like a weird. It's just it's just just unbelievable. Like I say, everything about it is just it's just it's a perfect package. A great story, it plays well, and it's 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 everything that you want in a game. And this will probably be be in my list next week as well. That's how that's so, how much of an impact it's made on me. We've got this, have we, Anna? Uh, yes. Somewhere. Yeah. You got a review code, so it'll be just installed on your console. Oh yeah, yeah, we do. I'm tempted to play it then before next week and see if I agree. Will I? If I play this for an hour, will I feel like it's awesome, or do you need to invest some proper time in it? Um. I think you, you, you'll get you'll get the gist of it within an hour. Yeah. I think I feel like you get given a abil- a certain abilities relatively quickly. And it's like I say, it's just fascinating. So you have this big old, massive like house building. to ex- the yeah, building to explore. In the middle of New York, apparently. Yeah, and it and it is just it is semi Metroidvania in the sense of isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Gives you quests to go to this area of the of the work of the map, like the the building, and you go to that, and you find other things in in the world that aren't accessible now, but you will eventually come back round to them. Um, and it just, like I say, it, it drebs out the, the powers bit by bit. And like I say, I think if you played the first hour, it, it probably it probably would give you enough of the story to go, what the hell's going on? 
and it's creepy though. It's, so it's, why it's, wasn't it on your list of five, Anna? If you've you got that up with it, didn't you? I just got that up with it, yeah. It was fine. It was it was okay, but I just I there was I'm not very good at remembering every uh, every like when you have multiple abilities, and I I just you have to know what abilities to use in in the in the battles. Some of the bosses, and I just couldn't bother. And I was I was just starting uni again, and. That's the problem with this sound game. Yes, I, I buy games, but I don't have time to play them. Cause, you like their me. dream customer. Yeah, I buy them. I don't buy them. I, don't buy them. I just uh, literally don't have the time. So you like me to... with WWE 2K20, which mm. I still haven't played, even though really? I spent £50 pounds on it. You it's spent installed £50? On the Xbox. Yeah, that's how much it cost. I had it pre-ordered on EA Xbox. Access. No, I pre-ordered this on the Xbox. Had it pre-installed and everything. Yeah, but I didn't know that when I paid for it. <laughs> I was all planning. I was planning on making videos on it and all sorts. And then reviews started to come in, and because I don't like to think for myself, I looked at the reviews and thought, you know what? Yeah, but that's funny. I ain't, I ain't even going to try this. Yeah, but it would have annoyed me because I wanted it to be good. I didn't want it to be funny. I wanted it to be a good <laughs> game. Can I just say as well? I really do think Minecraft should be on my list because of Why? the it's fact. Yeah, Mate, it was you can add that to your list if I can add Final Fantasy VIII to mine. What, because... what was new about Final Fantasy VIII? Didn't they just polish it? Whereas Minecraft was new. No, it wasn't. It, it was a brand new, new Switch it game, wasn't. completely done for Switch, and it. I, I had the most fun on that this year, other than Mario Maker 2, um, because it was just fantastic being able to play it at a faster speed and with all the polished bits, so that where it was clunky on an old game, it was. They'd fixed it on this one. Was and, it meant um, for Switch? Well, it was tweaked for Switch, wasn't it? It, well, it was. It, like, was, it was ported from the PC version, though, wasn't it? I don't care. It fit the Switch, is what I'm saying. It worked on the Switch perfectly. It was perfect on the Switch, and it sped up, so it was perfectly quick as well. And um, it's the best version of it I have played. <laughs> I can't have Minecraft things. I can't allow that. that. That is just a remake, whereas Minecraft was new features. Minecraft's a weird one because they okay. do effectively release every year. It, it, if Football Manager can go on the list, Minecraft probably no, should can't. as well. it can't go on the list. It cannot well, football go on Manager the list. Can't. No, Minecraft. Why? Because Minecraft's just content updates. If that's the case, yeah. Destiny, but football 2, should just on, Destiny updates, 2 should be on it. Then. Why no, is Destiny 2 can't be on it? Number, if you've matter. got a Destiny 2 expansion pack that came out this year, that could absolutely be on the list. No, I don't think it should. If you're update. allowed Minecraft, I'm allowed Pokemon Go then, because that gets we're more not, upgrades, <laughs> and that game is fundamentally that. different. Right, we're not doing this. We're not having any of them then. Let's go. Let's stay with the original list. So we need to narrow this down to a four, and it feels like Pab has very strong feelings for control. He even has the T-shirt. I've seen him in it. I have the T-shirt. Um, yes. We've had Pokemon Sword and Shield and Mario Maker Two both nominated twice. There's nothing from Anna's list. That's being pushed. Do you See, feel I, really strongly about anything on your list, Anna? No. Or is it just a case I'll, of making I'll, a list? I will say that, that I, I've also nominated Outer Worlds, which Anna oh, has you? nominated. Oh, is that our four then? Does it, do we all feel comfortable? I with would. That I, four? I would. I would stand. I, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I've played next to none of Outer Worlds, and but that's the impression it made on me. I've See this, it is this it. This is, it's been sat on my Xbox now for two weeks. And I feel just, you. I feel sheep, dog. Oh, you. God. I think I, I love it. I think yeah. I love it. And it's just getting that evening where Claire's working and the kids are in bed, and I can actually do it. Uh, you know, uh, sit and bro- spend time. I don't want to spend half hour on it. I want to. Right. Though. Can I propose something radical then? Not with Minecraft. No. <laughs> if we're saying that's our final four, why don't I go and play Control? before next week's show and maybe even Outer Worlds because it's there and Sheepdog goes and has a go on Outer Worlds and maybe Pab gives it a few more minutes if he's not really touched it and we all go and have a little look at this list and then come back next week and decide the winner from our final four. I literally don't have the time. Yeah, but you've already played them all. You don't need the time. You're the one who's already... You're, well, you're already there. Them. It's me trying to justify so- getting rid of Mario Kart Tour, Anna. That's what we need to- <laughs> <laughs> if we if we if we say the list is Pokemon Sword and Shield, Not Super Mario, 
Yeah, that's fine. You don't have to vote for that one. Oh. Um, Mario Maker 2, Control, and Outer Worlds as our final four. And then we can all go away for a week, do our homework on them. Because at the moment, I've not played Control or Outer Worlds, so I can't vote for either of them. So I'm just going to vote for the two games I nominated. And I imagine Cheap Dog's in the same boat, and he's going to vote for one of the two that he's nominated. Anna's only nominated one of these. So basically, Pab decides, and he's already said Control. So <laughs> I think we should go away, do a little bit of homework on him. And we've, we've got another awards show next week. Plus, it gives us a chance to put that final four out there to the audience. Let them have a vote on those four games. Mm-hmm. And uh, we can decide on an overall winner, even using their input. Oh, I love getting their abuse for not putting 50 different other games every year. Yeah, but they're wrong. They're, <laughs> they're silly. They're idiots. You're idiots, all of you. Anyone <laughs> listening? And anyone still listening 55 minutes into the podcast doesn't mind me calling him an idiot. They're used I'm to it. They all, they all chuckled at that, I think. Yeah, exactly. Um, so are we all all right with that? Or is anyone really, really desperate to make a decision now in case they die in the next seven days? I'm going to be that portion. lucky. Right. Oh, Sorry, that's really morbid, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone listening now has heard me say stuff like that before. Um, <laughs> so, our final like four is Super Mario Maker 2, Pokemon Sword and Shield, Control, and The Outer Worlds. We're going to go away, do our homework on them. We're going to put them onto the MGUK podcast Twitter for you to vote on. We're going to take that vote into account and then decide amongst ourselves including that next week what's our game of the year as well as presenting our lists for game of the decade and uh announcing that next week as well next week's the official rewards show. awards show not rewards i'm not rewarding any of you no. just uh, awards sheepdog can have a, a biscuit or something sheepdog a biscuit <laughs> <laughs> goodness me so we will wrap this show up there and like i say you do for once you actually do need to follow our twitter so you can vote in this poll so it's at mguk podcast on twitter or you can follow me at lelujo and i'm at rb6k i'm at mr lelujo and i'm at pub 1986 and we'll see you next week boys and girls every week Bye. thanks for listening folks